it's Juliana from London by London and today we are going to be exploring one of London's lesser known finds which is Kensal Green Cemetery. Now this is one of the magnificent seven cemeteries, the oldest of them built in 1833. These were cemeteries that were built on what was then the outskirts of the city. Others include Highgate and Nunhead Cemetery but this one, Kensal Green, has a few secrets. Let's go and discover. I'm not sure whether it's just peak creepy that I am walking through a graveyard looking for graves. Um, the map isn't the most accurate, so it's actually quite difficult to find some of them, but it's like a little game of creepy Sherlock Holmes. The game, my friends, is a flip. <laughs> Now, there are a lot of famous people buried in Kensal Green Cemetery, but we're going to take a little jaunt through some of the most famous and hear the stories behind them. The grave behind me that you can see is the grave of Princess Sophia. Now, Princess Sophia was an interesting character. She was something of a, I don't know whether you'd say a recluse, um, but either way, she did not have favour in the royal family. She was the daughter of King George, the third and she was buried here when she died uh, one of the first royals to be buried outside in a normal cemetery which actually then meant that Kensal Green became the place to be buried if you were aristocratic you were part of the hoi polloi of society you really wanted to be buried here at Kensal Green where the Princess Sophia had been buried now, the reason that I am crouching down is so that you can see this grave behind me, which is that of Wilkie Collins. Um, now, I don't know how swatted up you are on your Victorian fiction, but he is the guy who wrote The Moonstone and The Woman in White and many, many other novels besides. Um, the Moonstone, thought to be the earliest work of detective fiction in the English language, the earliest detective novel, and it is fantastic. And my favourite Victorian writers, I love, I love The Moonstone, love The Woman in White. In fact, I've read so many Wilkie Collins novels, it's unbelievable, but I still think they're actually his best. Um, and this is where he is laid to rest, just behind me. <laughs> You can see the grave of William Makepeace Thackeray, one of the great Victorian novelists. He is buried here in Kensal Green Cemetery. I think that Thackeray's um, characterization of Becky Sharp in Vanity Fair is literally one of the greatest characters ever created in literature. You know, don't at me. I don't want to hear your opinions about this. And I've got some interesting little tidbits about Thackeray or more specifically his relationship with another eminent Victorian novelist, Charles Dickens. So the two had been quite good friends, they knew of each other, they spoke well about each other, which is really only to be expected seeing as they were two of the most eminent Victorian novelists of the day. However, things started to fall apart a little bit when Charles Dickens started to get divorced from his then wife. He heard, the word on the street was, that Thackeray was uh, gossiping about said divorce and talking about the fact that Dickens was having an affair with an actress. Now Dickens didn't really like this, so he then put up a, a junior journalist who then wrote a very scathing piece about Thackeray, uh, which put Thackeray's nose right out of joint. In response, Thackeray then got the uh, journalist barred from his members club. I think it was the Garrick. Now, Dickens was just like, oh, this escalated quickly, tried to intervene, but to no avail. And actually the two men did not speak for years after that, despite the fact that their daughters were really very good friends. Eventually, they reconciled, not on purpose, but meeting on accident and shook each other's hands. Great timing because Thackeray actually died a few months after that um, encounter and Dickens was actually really upset about that. 
So there we are, the little gossipy story about Dickens and Thackeray. As I said, there are a wealth of people from historic figures who are buried here. And so it's just amazing that you can just be strolling around. Slightly morbid, isn't it? Um, but you can just be strolling around and come across these graves of really important historical figures. And there we are, a whirlwind tour of the oldest of London's magnificent seven cemeteries. Want to discover more quirky London spots? Subscribe and hit that notifications button.